Welcome to this configured terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. In this short video, we're going to look at how to configure OSPF in a single area on HPA series, previously known as H3C routers. In this video, we're going to set up a fairly simple topology. Please refer to other configuredterminal.com videos for more complicated examples. In this simple topology, router 1 is configured with IP address 10.1.1.1 on its Ethernet 010 interface and 10.1.2.1 on its serial 020 interface. On router 2, we'll configure IP address 10.1.2.2 on its serial 020 interface and 10131 on its Ethernet 010 interface. We'll then configure the two routers to use OSPF in area 0. Once completed we should have full connectivity. So on the first router let's give it a system name of R1 display IP interface brief will show me the interfaces that are available so in this case interface 010 is going to be configured with an IP address of 10111 interface serial 020 is going to have an IP address of 10121 router 2 is going to be called R2 interface E010 is going to have an IP address of 10.1.3.1 and the serial interface an IP address of 10.1.2.2 I'll just change that mask on router 1 to 30 shut the interface down and then no shut it and now I should be able to ping router 2 which I can control L will show me the routing table as you can see here router 1 only knows about directly connected interfaces it does not know about router 2's network 10131 so as an example on router 1 if I ping 10131 the ping will fail because that route is not in the routing table. Router 1 does not know how to get to that destination. So on router 1, I'm going to go into OSPF and I'm just going to select a process ID of 1. Specify area 0 and then put in the network command as 0.0.0.0, .0 with a wildcard mask of all binary ones. In other words, 255, 255, 255, 255. OSPF will thus be started on all interfaces and all interfaces will be in area 0. On router 2, I can do the same thing. Specify OSPF process 1, create an area of area 0 and then specify a network of all interfaces and as you can see here OSPF has formed a neighbor relationship router 2 has formed a neighbor relationship with router 1 so going back to router 1 I should now be able to ping 10131 and I'm able to do that on router 2 I should be able to ping 10111 and that succeeds Back on router 1, control L will show me the writing table and as you can see here we've learnt about a network 10130-24 through OSPF with a preference of 10 or administrative distance of 10. The cost of the route is 1563. You can see the next top is 10122 which is router 2's IP address on the serial interface and the local interface to use to get to the remote destination is serial 020. OSPF has successfully been configured and routes have been learnt. On router 2 I could create a loopback. 
So let's create a loop back of quadruple two. That should now be learnt through OSPF on router one. And as you can see here, it's been learned successfully. And I should be able to ping that destination. It's as simple as that to configure OSPF in a single area between two routers. That concludes our quick introduction to configuring OSPF on HP A-Series or H3C routers in a single area. For more free tips and tricks, please visit our blog at configureterminal.com. Thank you for watching.